Hi guys, today I want to show you a plugin called Bulk Menu Creator. This plugin helps me to be more productive and work with menus much faster. There is a free version, you can download it from WordPress repository, just search for Bulk Menu. Or there is also a pro version with much more features and you can buy it on wspeedup.eu. Both free and pro version allow you to create uh, multiple menu items at once. You just write whatever you need in here. You can also create sub items, uh, just use spacebar two times. So two spaces means sub item, like contact us, mm, portfolio and then you can generate menu items. Uh, you can also enter menu items URLs. If you don't do it, uh, then uh, there will be automatically generated hash from the title, from the label. It's very helpful when you want to create anchor points for your page. So if you have a lot of headings, uh, then uh, it will automatically generate these hashes and uh, it can scroll uh, user to the specific section. Let's save this menu and let's take a look on front end. So as you can see home about us and portfolio. Great feature is quick delete icon. You don't have to open each item and click on remove. You can just click on this icon and it's gone. Mm, so if you want to delete multiple items, you can do it pretty fast. But real power of this button is that it can delete menu item with all its sub items. Uh, previously, uh, without this feature, you had to open one by one and click on uh, remove on each one. So you have to go here and other other child. Now you can just click on the parent item it will ask you if you want to delete, you just confirm and it's gone with all the child items. Now uh, let's take a look on features you will find only in the pro version. Uh, the first one is this duplicate this menu button, uh, which is very helpful if you want to uh, have similar menu in header and also in footer. Uh, but you need to do some small adjustments there, so you don't have to recreate it uh, one by one, but uh, you duplicate it and change whatever you need. Uh, let me show you, so let's say I want to use this menu in footer, uh, I just click OK, and uh, now after reload you can see we are editing the footer menu. Um, let's say I don't want any sub items in footer, so let's just save this. And yeah, we should check this as a secondary menu. Then uh, when I reload the front end, you can see then there is our footer menu. Then there is possibility to create menu item that will automatically list all posts, products or categories. And they will be automatically updated when you change something. So let's say you want to have all product categories from WooCommerce in your menu. Then we can create uh, parent menu item shop and let's add this taxonomy terms as a child as a sub item uh, and then we will select product categories uh, here you can select uh, how many categories should be displayed minus one means all it is written here in description you can exclude some categories, uh, you can set some leveling. So, for example, in menu, I want to show on the top level categories. I don't want any uh, subcategories. So zero means there are no subcategories. It's just a top level. You can order them. Um, you can show empty categories for some reason. Uh, you can show count. So it will display how many products are in the category. And yeah, that's it. Let's take a look. So when we save this, then you can see there is a shop and there are all categories. Okay, uh, very similar is post type posts, uh, which will list all posts or uh, products or whatever you select. So let's say we don't want categories in here. 
uh, but uh, we want uh, products and we want to show five latest products then I will just write limit five order by date and uh, I want the sending so the newest one will be the first one then uh, when I save this and when we take a look on front end you can see that below the shop there are five latest products then uh, there is a profile menu item and login logout uh, let's add them at once uh, in profile uh, you can Mm, you can say hello to the user or uh, it can be as a parent item for login logout or other menu items and you can uh, use these variables in here to display dynamic data uh, you just click on it it will highlight the whole item and you can copy and write for example hi first name uh, maybe we don't want to be as active link so we just put a hash in here and below this uh, there will be a logout link uh, so there is a logout that's okay uh, let's take a look so now when I reload this page there is hi Jakob and there is a logout link when I click on this one nothing happened because it's just a hash but when I click on logout I will be locked out and yes, when I will be logged out, uh, then the menu will look like uh, this one. So it's gone. It's not in here because no one is logged in. But maybe now we want to show here a login link, right? And we will add uh, this login logout item again in here. And we will delete this logout because we want to show only login link. Uh, and uh, as it is written in here, leave empty to hide logout link. So yeah, let's let's try this one. So again, when I am logged in, it's hi Jakob. Uh, when I log out, then uh, login link will appear in here. Mm, again, everything should be pretty self-descriptive, uh, but sometimes there are some help texts that should help you to better understand what uh, what you can do. Okay guys, thank you for watching, uh, hopefully you like it and uh, go and try the free version or if you need uh, some pro features in here, go and buy it and thank you, goodbye.